Hey, how's it going everybody? Tyler and Sam here from Team Cough, and today we're ice fishing Sweetwater Lake. This is a place that we did some camping on earlier this summer, and we usually do an annual camping trip here in about the late spring, early summer. So last time we were here, we had a lot of fun on the open water, had some fun camping, had a lot of fun foraging, hiking. We had the watercrafts. Yeah, we had the watercrafts. So, and now is around the time we, you know, kind of started the channel up. About We were about a month in when we released that footage. It's mid-morning right now. It's a pretty nippy day. It's in the mid-teens. But today we're going to be fishing in our ice fishing tent. Um, it's really nice out too. I want to get you guys some views. So we'll probably be doing a little bit inside the tent, a little bit outside the tent. But we're going to get some really good drone shots for you guys. Hopefully landing some kokanee salmon. That's probably about the only fish we'll keep today. Maybe some brookies. All the rainbow trout and other trout though we're going to let go. But yeah, stay tuned guys and we'll get some fish. All right guys, we just drilled our first hole. We're in about 11 inches, 10 inches thick of ice, so that's pretty good. And we're about 18 feet deep of water. I can see some fish here on the sonar already. So we got live bait today and we also got artificial. So I'm gonna be starting off with artificial. I'm gonna be going with a fake wax worm, chartreuse power bait, Berkeley wiggler here. It's gonna do like a mini Ned Rig presentation. It's gonna be on the Titan Tungsten Pink. I believe the actual title of it here on the screen, but I already got fish down here on the sonar. So let's see what we can get here. Let's drop down on them. All right, going with the real mealworm now. Well guys, sorry I couldn't get the hook set, but just pulled in the first fish of the day. Little nice little bow. Oh yeah, Titan Tungsten. I just turned my thing off and this thing just flew out of nowhere and nailed it. <laughs> nice little bow. Nice so again guys, we're gonna be returning all these guys unless we get some kokanee or maybe some brookies. Oop. Swim. Oh, got another fish interested guys. Oh, I had one. Can you take my worm? Nope, worm's still there. He went for it guys, he went for it. Oh, got it. Got it on the drop. Ooh, that's a good bow. Oh, yeah. Nice, guys. That's a really nice one. Let's get this gorgeous rainbow back in. Oh, this is a really good one. About 15 inches. Gorgeous colors. Oof. Put him down in Sam's hole here. All right, guys, it took me a little bit of time to get ready, but I got my own hummingbird. I'm gonna try it out. It's about 13 feet over here. I'm just gonna jig the tungsten ice fly real fast. Nothing else on it. Look where we're at, guys. I mean, this is a gorgeous lake. I've never been up here in the winter time. Like I said earlier, never ice fished it and it's really great up here. The clouds kind of hiding the sun again. It's making it really cold. So we might set up the tent here in a minute. We'll see. Now that we know that there's fish over here in this area, I definitely don't mind setting up shop here. Got one. Another bow. Another really pretty bow. Let's get him back in. There he goes. So I'm just trying out Sam's hole over here. Sam's trying out mine right there. Oh, oh, I have a fish. Yeah. 
Got it. Nice. Another nice pretty one. Let's get him back in. I think I'm gonna set up the ice tent now. Let Sam keep fishing and then I'm gonna set this up. So stay tuned. guys so just got my new Pexmore shelter set up here just a little two person you could fit three in there but it'll be really really tight it's a really calm day out here um, the people in the middle of the lake already actually just left while I was setting up the tent but yeah it's a pretty calm day so I'm not gonna nail it down but yeah it's a pretty nice little setup my dad got this for me but yeah this is exactly what I need for these cold weather situations I'll do a little setup video and review on it here in the future after I get a couple things in with it. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Let me show you guys the inside of it. So here we are on the inside, guys. Sam's already in here getting set up. Kind of got our hummingbird right there. We got our three holes. So yeah, we're gonna start fishing. Got one, guys, already. Yeah. All right. First. First fish in an ice tent ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pink tungsten ice jig, I'm telling you. Maybe I should throw something pink. Oh man, Ooh. great looking bow. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's so much warmer in here. It's way better. Let's see him swim down to the depths. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, I can, I can see where it is on my thing. Yeah. I can see it still. Can you? Yeah. Got it. Nice. Nice. Oh. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yeah. Nice, babes. Get out of here. You have a fish. I got a fish. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you're not gonna. You're missing. You missed two fish now. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try on the Swedish pimple. See if I can get some more action that way. Got one. Go pro, start recording. Yes. Swedish pimple, guys. Really beautiful rainbow, but he crushed the Swedish pimple, so gotta get the pliers to get this thing out of here. Thank you. All right, guys, beautiful bow. Let's get it back in. Uh, Sam's getting the soup already. Spaghettios. Mm -hmm. We'll probably do when we start doing this stuff more. We were talking about it on the drive up. We were uh, <clears throat> we'll probably do some teas. Maybe try to do some forage goods up here and cook that. Hoping to maybe do a collect catch and cook on the ice. That'd be really cool. Get some fresh forage products and get some fresh fish and eat that up. Just to give you guys a little progress report. We're on the midway point of the day. You know, the morning went pretty decent. Everything seems to be off live bait, most of the action. We got some attention on some other things, but all the landed fish seem to be off of the mealworms. But we're about to eat some soup, and yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Woo! I didn't think I was recording. I guess I was, but yep, it's got another one, guys, off the Swedish pimple, and there he goes. Unhooked himself. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of action down there. Oh, I see a fish swimming by. Oh. Oh my god, I'm big on this Got it. Oh, that was a sight fish. That was sweet. Oh, that was so sweet. Oh, that was so sweet. Oh my god. Oh, I wish you guys could have seen that. That was awesome, guys. Wish the big one would have got it, though. Yeah, I saw him. Oh, nice. This is a cut bow, guys. Nice. Yeah, it is. Sweet. A little cut bow action. There we go. At least we're getting a different species. Maybe we'll get to the cutthroat of the kokanee here. Let me open this window, get some more light in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous cut bow. Got the white tips there, and then it's got that slash under its throat there. Really light slash. Great looking fish, great fight. Really sweet, unique catch there. Really awesome. Never 
sight fished through the ice before, so that was really cool. Go the other way. Oh god, that water is cold. Oh, oh. Go that way. There you go. Oh yes. Oh, that was so sweet. That's awesome, man. That was so freaking sweet. The a bit the big one hit it, yeah. like tapped it, and then swam off, and then the other guy just came up and nailed it. And I just saw him engulf it. I just pulled up. Do you have one? Yeah, babe. Ooh. Ooh. Nice big pull up. Nice size bow, babe. Nice. I like fish this one. Awesome. That's great. You guys got the Swedish pimple. Got the Swedish pimple. Sam got the skunk out. Ooh. Really gorgeous rainbow. I'm going to put this guy back. Alright, Sam got the skunk out. The skunk is officially gone, gone. And I'm also trying to try to get a couple more. The day's been going really great. Really trying to just hopefully try to get one of these salmon out of here. Seems like the rainbow spot. Yeah, this does seem like the rainbow spot. This Yeti really does work. Got one. Nice, nice, nice. Am I recording? Oh shoot, just look at my pants. Oh shoot. Well, guys, that was sweet. I wasn't sure if I even had one there. And then I looked down and saw my lure was moving all over the place, pulled up, and I had one. Let's get him back home. Well, guys, um, that last bow catch was fun and all. And we've been getting some good stuff here, but we want to see if uh, we're just going to move spots just for, just for the heck of it. See if we can maybe there's some kokanee or some brookies hanging out somewhere else. Seems to be a lot of bow action over here, so we're going to move. Stay tuned. guys we moved down about 100 yards back toward the um, way we walked in right here where I'm looking at right here on this rock wall this is exactly where me and Sam were catching kokanee salmon off of the bank when we were up here camping this last summer so if you haven't checked that out go check that out we're just gonna I don't know I don't have I have we have no idea how these fish move in the winter and the hard water um, especially you know fish like salmon where I'm not very familiar with it so we're just gonna hope that there maybe is still some over here in this area, but we'll see. But stay tuned, hopefully we can at least get some more fish for you. Dang it, he nipped and swam off, guys. That sucks. <laughs> oh. oh, he's chasing it. He's chasing it. Oh my God, yeah. Oh, he nipped it again. Oh, got one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no, he came off. Oh no. Shoot. Oh, shoot, guys. Had one. Oh, all right, guys. Well, he's got the tent put away. Sam's just putting the rest of the items away. Looks like it's perfect timing. Looks like snowstorm's coming in, as you can see there on the west side of the lake. There's still a party of people ice fishing down there, but the drone shots you saw probably earlier, you know, you can see those mountains pretty clearly. And it was pretty nice when we got here. Now it's all overcast. We had a really good morning. You know, the bite slowed down pretty bad, especially when we moved spots. Unfortunately, we didn't get any, any salmon or any brook trout. We just got a whole bunch of rainbow trout. But we've never ice fished this lake before, and we're glad, just glad to get up here and enjoy the nice day and get some fish. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the catches. We had a blast fishing the ice tent for the first time. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, it made a really big difference. I think we probably would have been out of here a lot earlier in the day if we didn't have that ice tent. Um, kept us pretty warm. But toward the end of the day there, when we were just sitting there, I mean, it, we started just getting freezing yeah. still, and that was still in the tent. But, oh, 
Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for supporting the channel, guys. Until next time, Team Cough signing out.